This is the sleeper train. I liked it. I like that it gave you good food. When we got to Salzburg, it was very early in the morning. So, the sleep train was a train that we went on that we slept on. The seats folded into beds like in that episode of Peppa Pig that I really enjoyed. And the, you, go, you go into the bed and, and, and then there's seats to put on and then there's a pillow. And it's a really bad pillow, but it's a bad pillow. And yeah. Um, the sleeper train was gay. Um, we made someone to talk to um, if you're on New Zealand. And it was great. It was awesome. You loved it? That's all I have to say. And you got two hot chocolates, didn't you? And the bolton and now we're in Salzburg. Salzburg! Gonna do the Christmas markets. Christmas markets! Gonna do some Christmas shopping. Christmas shopping! You said it would be snowing. Oh yeah, Christmas. I can see snow. Yeah, but... So, unfortunately, we kind of didn't take a lot of video at Salzburg. Um, well, at least in the day, because we used this couple of days in Salzburg to do a whole bunch of our jobs that we needed to do before Christmas so getting the kids a couple of little things for Christmas um, sorting out our packing and our cases which was a little bit long overdue um, doing a whole bunch of washing just stuff like that we did explore a bit obviously Salzburg is famously known for being um, associated with the sound of music we would have loved to do the tour, but time just wouldn't allow it. Um, so we gave that a miss this time around. This is Mirabel Gardens, though, and this is where they mainly shot the scenes from the song Do Re Mi. And that's Mirabel Par Palace. The gardens extend around the back of the palace there. Um, we saw that in the morning, but... We had a lot of time to kill because the sleeper train got us to Salzburg quite early. I think it was slightly before 8 a.m. And our check-in at our accommodation wasn't until at least 10, I think. So we found a little playground um, to let the kids have a run around and probably was a good choice because um, a whole bunch of two-year-old toddlers turned up with their daycare workers and after a little while, my children became quite friendly with them and um, they had a really lovely morning playing with these little babies all wrapped up in their little snow boots and uh, snow hats and onesies. And probably the funniest thing was that a bunch of them just grew really fond of John and they started calling, referring to him as Opa. And I went and asked the teachers. I, I kind of thought I knew what it meant, but yeah, it meant grandfather. So the teachers had a good laugh about that. That's why his parents Take some video for your mum. Okay. So this is we're at the Salzburg Christmas Market, and we've got I don't know what it's called because I forgot to look at the name, but it's, it's like a pancake, apple pancake, like a thick apple pancake batter, really thick, and they dust it with icing sugar and Just then pour it. apple sauce all over the top. All right, Harry. Ah, 